Welcome to Central Gov Strategy TV. Today I've got with me Mike Clasper, who is non-executive chairman of HMRC. Welcome, Mike. Hi. In your time as non-executive chairman, um, what are the lessons that you've learned and what would you like to say and, and what messages have you to give to other government departments and other, you know, other people in your position? Right. Well, I mean, you know, first of all, I was coming in from the private sector. So you've got, um, you come in to the civil service with a series sort of semi-stereotypes in your head. Um, what I really was impressed by, I guess, was two I think fundamental strengths of HMRC and I presume the wider civil service. The first one is commitment to sort of doing the right thing for the country. Uh, you know, it's easy to say that and I think people who are in the civil service because it's all around them sort of forget how strong that is and how important that is. The second thing, you've got some seriously clever and talented people, right? So, um, so when you come in or, you know, when you're thinking about these things, you've got two huge assets to work with. I think the, you know, the big lesson and, and where I struggled to begin with was this sense of why do we need strategies? We have ministers who can change their minds all the time, right? And so what we need is a plan that suits the current environment. And it was very tough, not right at the top, but just, just below the top to get people to buy into the fact that we you know, needed, a, needed a strategy. The advice I'd give somebody coming in to do what I've done um, is demand it. Because if you demand it, the talent answers the questions that you're asking. Right? They you know, the, some of the analysis that I thought we'd have to go and do in order to develop the strategy was already done. Right? So the material's there, <coughs> but you have to demand it. That's a, probably the biggest lesson I would say. And if you don't demand it, the room with a plan. You've come from business. Are you happy about where you've brought HMRC to from when you started? Or is this just a small step on a much longer journey for someone else now to, to take on when, when your tenure is, uh, is up? Uh, if I can answer both, then that's probably the right answer. I, I think we've made a lot of progress um, in working out uh, you know, where we want to be. I think some of the, some of the the strategy work has generated the ideas that are now starting to work. In terms of delivering for the country on the tax gap, we're doing dramatically better than we've ever done. So you could be quite sort of, well, you know, we're hitting all the numbers and so it's, it's done. But I think that, you know, the big shift is, is this thing of turning it from something that goes on at the top of the organisation that creates a set of tasks that the organisation then gets on with. So uh, into something where um, everybody knows why they're doing their piece of it and why it fits you know, the, the bigger picture. And because of that can then make their own judgments about how to improve it because they know where, where we're headed. Um, and it's that sort of, because I think it lowered down the organisation, a lot of people are still working on the plan, the task. And you'd want them to, yeah, but you're doing it because of this but they don't really, I mean, I'm not saying people haven't presented it to them and stuck up on the walls and all that sort of stuff, but they haven't really sort of taken it in in a way in which they said, that, that's what guides me, not this annual plan and this task. Into uh, the, the civil service, basically. Um, there's an awful lot of red tape, though, you must have found, and bureaucracy, as well as some very talented individuals, as you've described, and, and, and a, a lot of resourcefulness. Um, how did you deal with that, and do you think you've made any inroads at all into to, to, uh, dealing with it? I think I've personally made inroads into dealing with it, but uh, th th there's only one word, right, that describes how to deal with it, which is persistence. The red tape slows you down, it doesn't stop you, is sort of um, w what I conclude, and therefore you just have to be persistent. I don't feel much that I've helped a lot in, if you like, removing the red tape because quite a lot of it is sort of imposed from angles that you know are, are now right through to being enshrined in constitution right so you know there's a lot of stuff that slows you down and don't think that you can move as fast as you do in the private sector but 
don't think you can't achieve things, because you can, as long as you're persistent.